So, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Normally I'd start off with my introduction, but I think tonight we don't need to do that. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Johnny Gargano is back in WWE. He's made his return to WWE. We all knew he was going to return. I think we all knew that. Ever since Triple H took over as creative, we all expected he was going to come back to the company. I felt Johnny Gargano should have been saved for a, a bigger event than a Monday Night Raw in Toronto. But, you know, I'm not Triple H. So, that's just what he would prefer. But I will say, it was done the right way. Unannounced, no leaks. It was, ne it was not leaked or anything. It was not leaked or anything, so I will so I will give WWE credit for not really spoiling it. I mean, so far all the returns have not been spoiled. I guess Hit Row was kind of spoiled, thanks to Mike Johnson from PW Insider. But outside of them, outside of them, not really anyone else. Anyway, let's talk about Johnny Gargano. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to make anybody upset. But I have to be honest here. So if you don't want to hear what you do, if you don't want to hear this, then I think it's for the best that you don't watch. I want to be happy that Johnny Gargano is back. I, I really do. Like I've got I've got nothing but respect for his in-ring ability. I think he's a phenomenal athlete. I think he's a great wrestler. There's a lot of positives about Johnny Gargano coming back to WWE. Because I thought for a while when he left, I thought he was definitely going to go to AEW. Or maybe he was just going to be done with wrestling entirely. But he was only gone for like nine months. He was only gone for like nine months. So, so it didn't feel that long ago that he's been gone. But... I just want to straight up tell you guys that I know there are a lot of people happy that Johnny Gargano is back. I know there are a lot of people that are happy to see him back. I want to be. I want to be one of those people. But there's something about his promo that just didn't make sense to me. Yes, it was a nice moment for him to come back. I spoke with a friend about this. And he agreed with me, like, it's good that people have different opinions, different mixed opinions. And I spoke about my feelings on how I felt about it, and he fully understood where I was coming from. So hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from as well, but, you know, we'll see. So, so you guys are probably thinking, well, Patrick, what was wrong with the promo? I wouldn't say everything was wrong with it. I, it. Like I said, it was nice to see Johnny back. But the main thing about his promo that I found... That I really didn't really like all that personally... Was him listing off his accomplishments on what he wanted to do. He was going off about how... Oh, he's always wanted to be Intercontinental Champion. United States Champion. WWE Champion. And headlining WrestleMania. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, what's so wrong with that? What's so wrong with that? Those are nice goals. And yes, they are nice goals. Problem is, he could have done this years ago. That's the problem. That is the problem. He could have done this all those years ago when he was here. He could have easily gotten called up. And he could have easily gotten the Intercontinental Championship reign. He could have gotten the United States Championship reign. He could have gotten his... He could have gotten a WrestleMania match. That's the problem with the promo. He's, he's listing off these accomplishments like he wants to, 
ticked them off his checklist when he realistically could have easily done this years ago. And I know a lot of people's response is going to be, oh, but Patrick, there's a reason why he didn't want to go up to the main roster, because he didn't want to work under Vince McMahon. Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. I understand that. I understand that. But Tommaso Ciampa, at least he was willing to go up to the main roster and work under Vince. At least he was willing to try and make things work under Vince. He was actually willing to. He was willing to try and make things work under Vince. So what you, and Johnny's whole spiel is about, oh, you gotta bet on yourself. He talks about how you gotta bet on yourself. Well, he sure as hell didn't bet on himself when he went about going to the main roster. He could have at least given it a go. He could have at least gone there for a couple of months and given it a go. But no, he didn't want to. I understand why. I understand why before you people think, oh, like why would he want to work? He didn't want to work under Vince. I understand why you don't. He didn't want to work under Vince, but at least Champa did. At least Champa did, and he got, and he got, and he, at least he was actually willing to try and make things work while working for Vince. At least Johnny could have done the same thing. He could have just, Vince could have given him something, and he could have just worked with it. He could have just worked with what he was given with. Champa did. That's my problem. So that's my main issue with Johnny's promo. So I hope people understand. It's nice to see him back. And listen, I'll get over it. I'll get over it. At least, I, 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 at least I'm capable of getting over things. But I just... I'm sorry. I just didn't really like the promo. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But it is nice to see him back. So I hope people respectfully understand where I'm coming from. And also Johnny laid out his former The Way pal, the Austin Theory. So let's talk about the other things real quick, because that rant about, that ramble about Johnny Gargano took up pretty much half of the video. So let's talk about the other stuff. With Riddle and Seth freaking Rollins, they had like a brawl at the very opening part of Monday Night Raw. Not really anything special, I didn't really care. Trish Stratus came out to a good ovation because they're in Toronto. They're in Toronto, so Trish Stratus was there. Bailey interrupted her. Then Bianca Belair came out to the ring, and Bianca Belair probably said one of the most stupidest things I've heard. She comes out to the ring to defend Trish Stratus because she's about to get ganged up on three on one. And then Bianca Belair in her script, I don't know if Triple H is just a blithering idiot when it comes to his promos. But Bianca was literally scripted to say, Trish Stratus is a big girl, she can look after herself. That's what, Bi that's what Bianca said in her promo. And I thought to myself, then why the hell did you even come out? Why did you come out to the ring then? If you knew Trish was capable of looking after herself, and she could defend herself, why did you come out? It, that, 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 that didn't make any sense to me. That didn't make any sense to me. Bianca Belair is stupid. And I'm sorry, it's time for a new champion. Bianca has done absolutely nothing with the Raw Women's Championship. Her title reign has been absolutely boring. This has got to be one of the... This is, this, is one, this is a terrible, terrible reign. She's barely wrestled. She's barely defended it. Yeah, she had a great match at SummerSlam, but come on. She, 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 it's not a good title reign. So then Alexa Bliss and Oscar came out to also aid Bianca and Trish. Fans, for some reason, want Alexa Bliss to turn heel. I don't know why. She gets good ovations whenever she comes to the ring. She gets pretty good bops when she comes to the ring. Yeah. Turn, yeah, turn someone who's pretty over with the crowd into a heel. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good, pretty good move there, internet wrestling community. Bunch of idiots. 
Alright, so we had Dakota Kai and E.S. Sky take on Alexa Bliss and uh, Oscar in the semi-finals. Uh, Dakota and EO got the win here. I believe the wrong person got pinned. And I'm sorry, I really did not like this ending. Not because Oscar got pinned. It wasn't because Oscar got pinned. I more hate that they made Oscar look like a blithering idiot. This is Triple H running the show. And he booked Oscar to look like a total knob. EO tagged herself in. And then she locks in the Oscar lock on Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai starts tapping out. And then Oscar starts celebrating like she won the match. And then Io rolls her up. And then gets the 1, 2, 3. Really? Really? Really, Triple H? Everybody thought Triple H was going to book Oscar like a friggin' beast. Oh, Triple H is going to bring back the old Oscar. The NXT Oscar. Yeah, yeah, NXT Oscar would not, would not, would not do that. Yeah, NXT Oscar certainly would not dance like a blithering idiot thinking that she won when there was clearly a blind tag. Unbelievable. So we had Finn Balor take on Dolph Ziggler. Pretty good match here. Finn Balor got the win, thanks to Rhea Ripley. If there's one thing I will I do like is that, that Triple H is making three hours go by really quickly. He's making the three hours go by really quickly by giving most matches good length. They give every match time. So he gives every match time, because that's how three hours work. That's how you can make a three hour format work when you give every match, you know, good amount of time to get the fans excited. So I did enjoy that. And also, I, and also, I miss babyface Dolph Ziggler. Seeing D Ziggler as a babyface has made me miss him as a babyface. He's so much better in the good guy role. So anyway, Finn, so yeah, Finn Balor got the win with a coup de gras. Then we had the shoosh man, Chad Gable, came out to a standing ovation of booze. Telling the fans to shush. He issued an open challenge. Kevin Owens accepted. Kevin Owens got his old Titan Tron back from his NXT days. A great match between Kevin Owens and Chad Gable. Kevin Owens got the victory with an old faithful pop up powerbomb. Nice to see that move make its return. We had Bailey take on Aaliyah. Aaliyah making her debut. I guess you can say, on Monday Night Raw. Bailey would get the win with the Rose Plant. I understand ba I understand this is Bailey's return match, but I kind of felt a little sad that Kevin Owens and Edge were able to get wins in Canada, but Aaliyah, who is also from Canada, who is also from Toronto, Canada, couldn't. But I get it. It's Bailey. And you weren't going to have Bailey lose in her return match. But it was a solid match. They did give Aaliyah time. They did give Aaliyah and Bailey time. I'm very glad it wasn't a one-sided squash. Like most fans for some stupid reason wanted. Which I don't understand. Which I don't understand. Why would fans want a squash? But anyway. Aaliyah and Bailey had a pretty fun match. It was solid. We had The Miz and Champa take on Bobby Lashley and AJ Styles. This match ended via disqualification when Dexter Loomis kidnapped The Miz. And I thought that was very hilarious, seeing Dexter Loomis kidnap The Miz. Now I want to see Index versus Miz and Maurice. I wonder if that's what that's leading to, but either way... Dexter, they confirmed that Dexter Loomis isn't really working for WWE, so... At least I actually uh, appreciate the uh, acknowledgement there that he isn't employed. And then the main event was Edge versus Damien Priest. I'm sorry, I just didn't care for this match. Damien, uh, Edge got the win. Damien and Finn Balor, both men also got new theme songs, by the way. Both of them are really good. I know fans are going to be complaining ear to ear about their new themes. So, Edge got the win. Of course he did. Because he's in Ca because it's in Toronto, Canada. Remember, Aaliyah couldn't win in Toronto, but Edge could. 
Judgment Day attacked Edge afterwards. Beth Phoenix came out to aid Edge. They showed Beth in the crowd, which I immediately knew what was going to happen. So the, so the show ends with Edge and Beth standing together against Judgment Day. We're more than likely going to be getting a mixed tag between Bala and Rhea and Edge and Beth. Anyway, that is your Monday Night Raw review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up, comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I will see you all next time.